Bonjour, uh, my name is Pascal Lourdes. Uh, you are in my studio. I call it the Bocal. Uh, it's like a fish tank. And uh, I will be this month at Imago Gallery for a show called A Table. I call the, the, this show A Table because uh, that was, that was uh, what my mom was shouting when uh, she was calling us, us to go to the table. She was always screaming in the house, à table, à table! Food for me, it's also a part of my life. Um, I'm French, so cooking is important. We cook for lunch and dinner. And I grew up this way and I try to do the same for my children. So cooking is like putting together different uh, elements to create something, something good. And for me, painting is a bit the same, or science, it's like putting together different elements and trying to do something interesting, something tasty. This painting is called The Fly, and it's the first one of the progression I'm going to show at Imago. And um, the, this series started just by showing a table, and I wanted one color by uh, painting and this one is pink. I choose the pink and black and grey um, just for that, just a choice of a colour and um, I just had a bit of life, still life with the, with the fly and uh, which is a you know uh, an element of vivid life um, because it's quite, well, it's a still life, so I just wanted to um, add a bit of uh, fun into it. So on this painting, the canvas, uh, uh, I started to uh, scrap the layers and to reveal something behind. You can see my hand, so it's really thin and you have holes and more and more I progress in this series you will have I will have more and more holes and uh, scraping so the scraping I do it especially on the canvas because for me it's really like related to the skin and the woman's skin and how it's not unfortunate but getting older it's something it's difficult to hide so this piece is called Surgery of a Pizza Box and arrives later in uh, all the theory around food. I introducing now some mirrors and mirrors are more and more important in the theory. The subject was a pizza box and I used this idea to uh, work around it so I cover it with the I covered the pizza box with some uh, canvas and then I destroyed the canvas and I painted the pizza inside so you have the reflection of it inside the box. The title of this piece is uh, Julie's Lemon Drop and it's also um, a, a pieces for my friend who is in Seattle. She's, uh, She's was she introduced me to lemon drops, and it's a drink I really like. And um, so I decided to uh, introduce her into my my theory. So um, I in here I started to scrape more and more the canvas. Another particular of my work it's in each of them from the beginning. You always have a square and uh, the square is here and each of my paintings are around square because for me square it's a kind of balance shape and um, in the same time it's balanced but it can be unbalanced by the way you you work with it the dripping for me it's really a bit of like tears uh, how I can be sensitive and I can be sensitive with my painting too and uh, how sometimes you just tears express things not necessarily sadness but uh, it's a way of your body reacting so I'm really in the, the trying to um, express all the different uh, part of the woman uh, in, in my art 
So this one is uh, called Daily Shock and um, I love chocolate. That's another favorite thing and I love drinking wine so you've got a bit of a champagne. Um, I work also with mirrors so the holes are more and more important in my work with the scraping and even a bit of shining part. Still the the, ring, the, the wrinkles or the, the, the drip with the tears falling from it but it can be laughing tears or uh, wrinkles can be also fun even if you just have to accept them. <laughs> so the mirrors, um, I introduced the mirrors little by little at first uh, they were hiding but still there but uh, more and more, for me, the mirrors became um, an element important in the way that it's also a way of introducing the viewer into my art. So everybody can be a part of the painting. And uh, also it's a reflection of where you're going to put the painting. So it's like the room will be reflecting in it and being a part of the painting too so I find this concept uh, interesting because it's like the, the the painting is not static you always it can change all the time with the lights with the days with the sun with people in the room or not and just can be also empty this painting is called Regrube uh, it's burger upside down because um, like the pizza box, I used the background of the canvas to paint the burger. And in my life I had some accidents and um, I had to go through surgery. And that's another point with can happen to anybody to be ill. And uh, that's another way I express it's into my painting by introducing a kind of cutting, but not only cutting or destroying, also, also a kind of repairing with surgical uh, stitches. Why food and surgery? Because uh, for, um, you know, when you are ill, food it's a way also to get better and uh, it's, it brings you pleasure. And that's something was important. Don't forget to have any pleasure, even if life is sometimes tough with you. When I started uh, really painting again, I was I had the feeling that I needed to to prove to myself that I was able to paint again. So I did a couple of uh, really representative uh, pictures or images um, and more and more I know I can do it so I'm going now to uh, towards a less representative imagery uh, into my work.